Welcome to this video. Here we are in the selection screen of an SAP query and if I execute the SAP query then we can see in the status bar that there is a state a message shown. So ERP please subscribe this channel. Yeah and do not forget to subscribe this YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and in this video I would like to show and explain you how you can easily yeah, um, set up a message in the ABAP code for an SAP query. Enjoy this video and let's get started. So to set up a message in the status bar, therefore you have to open up the transaction code SQ02 to maintain your corresponding info set. So you select it either on the list or type it in manually, then you go into the change mode. And then you have to go to extras and then within the code area. And if you are not familiar with ABAP code and SAP query, I will link a nice video about how to adding a ABAP code and SAP query. But basically here you have different code sections and within the end of selection after list, there you can enter a message. So basically you have to use the statement message and then you are using your text that you would like to output in the status bar. So for example, ERP up, please subscribe this channel. Thank you so much, by the way. <laughs> and then you have to define your type and maybe in this case it's S for success. And that's basically all. Then we have to save it, then we have to generate our info set. And then once again, we open up the SQ01 to open up our SAP query. Then we execute it and then we so execute the selection. And then within here, you can see the message shown in the status bar. And for example, there you have a lot of possibilities where you can put the message when it should be output. So for example, if we open up the SQ02 once again, go into the change mode. And then if we remove this, and then we save there. I have prepared, as you might have seen in the selection screen, uh, yeah, two, two or three parameters. So the first one is a checkbox. So uh, seen with the extras as checkbox. And those two are basically radio buttons uh, specified with the extra radio button. And basically, um, if you would like to, then here you can also add your code that should be executed when you selected this checkbox or this radio button for example. So for example we can use if test equals x and then you can also output this message. So in this case uh, for example we would like to output this kind of message then save it, generate it, and then we open up the SQ01 and then we just simply, yeah, selected the checkbox and then we execute it. And then down here you can see the message output and uh, you can also do exactly the same um, within the radio buttons and then on extras, there on selection, there you can also add, for example, for this parameter. So we go into the code section and then, for example, you can do exactly the same. So if test P1 equals X, then you can output, for example, radio button P1. Um, yeah, that's that's basically all. Then we generate it. And then we go once again to the SQ01, execute this. So this is checked. And then you can see it being output. So yeah, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you have any questions left, put them in the comment section. Thank you so much for supporting this YouTube channel. So if you like this channel, subscribe this YouTube channel. Thank you so much and then see you in the next video.